Hey guys, Supermodder here, back with another video, and today we're here with another PC build. Now, today we'll be focusing around the new God of Very lineup of APUs. Today, in fact, we have one here. Now, this was actually a sample for where I borrowed from, so as you can see, they're kind of marked out with permanent marker, but this is an AMD A10 at 78, I believe it's 78, 70 numbers on the screen there for which model of APU it is. It's fairly confusing the naming scheme because it's exactly the same as last time but we won't worry about what their naming scheme is. Today we'll be worrying about the system we're putting together. So for CPU as I just mentioned we're running the AMD A107870K that was the right pronunciation of that number there. It runs at 3.9 gigahertz now at the time of recording we're not exactly sure what kind of speeds they get to because at the time of recording they launched yesterday so there we go. I don't actually know the numbers of any average overclocks because we don't have them yet but I wouldn't be surprised if we could get it around the 4.5 range because we're already at 3.9 so theoretically it shouldn't be hard to push it that hard. There are also two unlocked multipliers which means obviously we can overclock. They feature four CPU cores with eight GPU cores so a total of all 12 processing logical cores right there and well they're a fairly new chip and basically really excited for me to go ahead and test out. Now on the topic of overclocking, we haven't actually overclocked this particular one yet, so I can't even say what I got in terms of results, you'll have to wait for my video then, but that's what we're running for CPU. Now to cool that all down, we're running a Thermaltake Water 3.0, now this is the triple 120mm rad variant, which has, well, quite a lot of cooling capacity and should be able to get us to about 4.5, maybe even 5 gigahertz if this CPU can support it. Now other than that, it's a fairly nice CPU cooler with some nice fans and overall does a fairly good job there. Now for motherboard, we kind of went all out for this build as we're showing off what this system can do we went with the asus crossblade ranger which is a full-size atx which looks pretty awesome i do have to say and matches the red and black for the amd's kind of red and black theme that they have going on with their system now we could have picked a smaller itx board like we have here today but i thought because we're going all out we might as well get one of the nicest motherboards we can pick up today so we ran with that it also too supports raid and up to 64 gigs of ram now speaking of ram we went with g skills Sniper Gaming Series. Now this is 16 gigabytes of RAM at 1866 megahertz DDR3 right there. Now again this sort of matches the red and black look of the actual motherboard and well the rest of the system that we're putting together so we thought why not go with that and also too we're only using two dims which means we can go ahead and add another two later for 32 gigs of RAM or just scrap it completely and go up to 64 gigs as well. There's quite a lot to play with with what the motherboard has to offer. Now for storage we were just going to go with our standard SSD and hard drive array but we thought to shake it up a little bit we went in fact with the AMD R7 480GB SSD, now we went with two of them and our motherboard does surprisingly support RAID so we went ahead and put them in a RAID 0. We also too got two WD 4TB red drives for our mass storage. Now if you're wondering why on earth would we put extra money into buying red, why didn't we just buy black or green or something like that? Well at the time of recording surprisingly enough black drives are much more expensive than the red drive and well the green drive was a dollar cheaper than the red drive so I thought well two dollars for both of those drives can't really hurt that much so we went for that more expensive drive. Now if you were setting this up as a personal computer most likely you would store just about everything including games and save files and all those kind of things on those hard drives and use the SSD storage for either a really fast scratch disk if you're maybe doing some video editing or just a really fast place to store data as RAID 0 isn't really the safest place to store stuff so that's really why we went with the hard drives. Now if you're really crazy you could just ditch those hard drives entirely and run at about 800 or even 900 gigs of actual SSD storage which is plenty enough for most people. The kind of 500 to, to 1 terabyte is kind of plenty for the average day person, but if you want that extra storage, I do would go ahead and go with that. Now for the case, we went with the Fantex Etho Entho Lux. I can't really pronounce that name properly, but that's what we went with. It comes with some cool aesthetics as well as some awesome looking LEDs and with some extra ones that you can pick up on eBay, this would be an excellent looking case. It also too features the well system that we like and also too because it's white, it's a fairly neutral colour in our red and black build. The red and black will stand out and unlike other cases the black won't really blend into the rest of the case and if you add for example white LEDs you could go ahead and make it a really standout case. Just do it right and you'll get a pretty nice looking system. Now for the power supply we went with Corsair AX760i as it features the Corsair link so we can go ahead and see what the power supply is actually doing and it also too features just generally everything else that I really personally like about the Corsair power supplies and well they also too feature their long warranties and various things like that. Now if you did want to colour match that power supply you could 
could probably jump into a different color, but because it's black, it'll again match the red and black looking of the system. Now, at this point, you're probably wondering, where's the GPU? I mean, there needs to be a GPU in a gaming system. Well, we decided not to put one in for a number of reasons. First off, we're actually showing off the performance of the God of Very system, so we don't really want to water it down with adding a video card, or, well, not really watering it down, but improve it with adding a video card because it will kind of skew the results if you're trying to look purely at that. Also, too, this is, you could kind of say, a high-end budget system where it's a high-end set of parts and you could go ahead and add in a high-end video card later down the line. But as Godavary has just launched, we did want to show it off with the best parts possible, so we decided to run with that and, well, I guess that's what we got. Now, if we did have to put in a video card because this is a higher-end system with all bunch of higher-end parts, obviously a 980 or 980 Ti or the new 390X or whatever that branding comes out to be down the line. So, who would this system be for? Well... That is a very hard question to answer because we're just showing off the best parts all in one system with the new God of Very APU. It's not exactly for everyone. The motherboard isn't really going to give us enough on the APU side and it's a bit expensive for what we're doing. The storage solution isn't really the best with the RAID 0 is not really good for everyday use and overall just isn't a very practical system to go ahead and use. If this was to be a more practical system, most likely we'd shave some money off the motherboard, add in a video card and have a fairly well balanced system. Pull out one of the SSDs because two SSDs in RAID 0 isn't really used every single day because SSDs in RAID 0 is really, really fast and most likely won't be noticed by the average user and overall it's just a very hard system to kind of categorize as someone's main PC. But if you want the best of the best from an APU, I guess this would be where you would go and well, adding in a video card will give you one beast mode of a system so i guess that's it for this video like or dislike the video accordingly let me know what you think of the new god of very cpus and apus and all those kind of things i always get those two mixed up give us a sub if you like what we're doing and want to stay tuned for our god of very apu lineup and i'll see you guys next time for another video